Hi, what's up YouTube? Yes, acne scars can be a frustrating situation, but keep smiling, stay positive, and have hope because today I'm going to go over some awesome products that I use to clear up my skin, and I'm sure they'll work for you as well. This is a photo three months after I had acne scars, and you can see that it really cleared up dramatically. I still have a little bit of scars here and there, but it's very light. Here are my top seven products that I use, and if you want to check these out, I'll leave them in the link in the description below. But um, this very first one here is made by Neutrogena and it um, basically will protect you from having future acne but the best thing about it is it also fades it so you just apply it like a toner and this next one here is my second best option which is to use some hydrogen peroxide which will lighten up your um, past and present scars basically and then you'll notice that it'll dry off and flake off the next day and my third best option here is um, by Equate, it's a dark spot corrector and it fades dark spots. Um, it has like vitamin C and vitamin E in there. Um, you can read all the ingredients here on the back. But um, it's really nice because uh, it softens your skin, it has a really nice pleasant smell to it and also you see very quick results as well. Um, my fourth option is vitamin E. Uh, make sure you get the gel capsules and basically you're going you're gonna to puncture it, poke a little hole in it and you're going to squeeze a little bit out and apply it to your skin um, on the affected area. So, and um, my fifth option is this vitamin C serum run by Pure Body Naturals. Um, it has vitamin E and C, um, and you just basically you uh, squeeze out a little drop of it. Um, it has a little vial, and you just put a little drop on your fingertips. Make sure your hands are clean and you put it onto the area that has the scar. And then my sixth option is baking soda. And basically you just get a little bit of baking soda, put it in a little tablespoon or somewhere where you can mix it. And you wanna mix it with a little bit of water until it's a little bit pasty. And then you just apply it onto the affected area. And my seventh option, which is pretty new, I've been using it for about a year now, and it actually prevents you from having acne and it also dries it out and fades um, old and new acne scars. It's called pseudo cream, and uh, what I like about it is uh, it's like doesn't really have a scent to it at all, um, and it's kind of thick, so you just have to apply very little on there um, for it to work. And now I'm going to show you my nightly routine. And uh, the very first thing you want to do is make sure that you do not have any allergies to anything. So that's step number one. Step two: wash your face and dry it. And then step three, you want to go ahead and apply a toner. I like to use this Neutrogena 2-in-1 Fight and Fade. And I leave it on for about a minute or two. And then I apply the uh, Survey uh, Moisturizing Facial Lotion. And now for the fifth and final step, which is the most important one, you want to pick one of the fading solutions for your acne scars. So don't go crazy and pick all three of these. Just pick one and see how it goes for you. But I highly recommend this dark spot corrector by Equate. It's actually supposed to fade dark spots. Um, it evens the skin tone, age spots, and acne scars as you can see here. And if you use this, all you need is like a little dab of that. A little bit goes a long way. And if you use the vitamin E, all you have to do is puncture the gel capsule and just use a little dab of that as well and put it on the acne scar. Or you can get some vitamin C serum and put a little drop of that and uh, put it on your fingertips and apply it to your affected area. But this is nice too because this also has anti-aging properties as well. If you have any tips or tricks you'd like to share, please leave those in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And as always, thank you for watching.